Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about Langraph, a new library that we're releasing. So Langraph builds on top of Langchain and makes it really easy to create agents and agent runtimes. So what exactly is an agent and an agent runtime? So in Langchain, we define an agent as a system powered by a language model that decides what action to take. There's then an agent runtime that basically runs that agent in a loop, calls that agent, decides what action to take, then takes that action, and then get, records the observation, and then passes that back in and starts the loop over again, and continues going through that loop until the agent decides that it is finished. So we've made it easy over the past few months to customize agents in Langchain with Langchain expression language, and I'd recommend checking those out if you haven't. What we're doing with Langgraph is we're making it easy to customize the agent runtime. So previously, the agent runtime was always the agent executor class, and this was basically something that ran in a loop and, and called uh, tools in a specific way and, and handled errors in a specific way, and that was great, but it was just one way to create this runtime. And so we want to create more ways to create this runtime and ways to create them more flexibly and dynamically. And a key part of this runtime is the ability to add cycles. So, you know, the whole point of the agent runtime is running this agent, this LLM powered agent in a loop. And so you need to be able to have cycles. And Langchain expression language and other, uh, you know, DAG like frameworks are non, they're not cyclical. Um, and, and so that's why we're introducing Langgraph for. Um, it's, it's a way to create these cyclical agent runtimes. So that's hopefully an overview of what Langgraph is and, and why we created it. The rest of the videos in this series are going to focus on two of the main agent runtimes that we've added to start. So first, we've added uh, agent executor very similar to the agent executor in uh, Langchain. So we've recreated that agent executor with Langgraph. And then we've added a chat agent executor. The chat agent executor takes in a list of messages and then represents the agent state just as a list of messages. And so it returns a list of messages as well. The reason we did this is that a lot of the newer models are chat based models and they intrinsically represent function calling um, as, as basically parameters as part of a message. And then they also have uh, function responses being a separate type of message. And so representing this agent state as a list of messages is very natural for these types of models. And so we've added a separate agent executor particularly for that. Then I'm gonna highlight a bunch of different ways that you can modify the base agent executors to do things like add human in the loops, um, force a specific tool to be called first and other exciting things like that. Hope you enjoy.